Hi, this is Sam. Today we're going to go through a quick tutorial of how to configure Kind for running, which is used for running Kubernetes clusters on your local device, like your laptop or your desktop, and how to configure Kind to be able to use the GPU that you might have on your desktop or your laptop. So let's go back. I added this, the funny thing is why I have this PR open is because when I started working on this, I couldn't get it to work and the only option I had was to change the code to basically add kind to add GPU support to kind. Um, there was another PR initially submitted by someone else, but that one was only focused on Docker. Then kind said, "Well, you need to also support Podman or um, what is it, Podman and NerdCTL, I guess. I, I forgot what the other one is." So the PR did. I did actually write all the code. <laughs> I even wrote tests. As you can see here, like I actually added a bunch of code and um, added tests for making sure that the existing tests pass. As you can see here, um, I even added some docs to it. But it turned out this PR wasn't actually needed. So when I submitted a PR, um, we had a long discussion about how it should be and, and finally someone else stepped in. Yeah, so it wasn't needed and the reason why is because Kevin came up with a very clever solution uh, because he knew the ins and outs of the NVIDIA stuff and the solution was to basically add a file in the kind node that tells it to use all devices and that just made it work. And then the other thing that was needed was to make sure that NVIDIA is your default runtime. Um, and you need to set this variable such that NVIDIA um, container runtime looks at the volume mounts to, 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 to tell it what devices to use. Um, so yeah, I, I, I basically, this is what we're gonna do in the video tutorial. Um, I made the steps a little bit easier to follow so anyway, we can just copy paste along and I published that under a blog and we're gonna go through it. We're just gonna go through the blog post um, and that's basically it. So the first thing we're gonna do is you have to make sure you install the NVIDIA container toolkit. I'm using Arc Linux so none of these steps are relevant for me, but you will Gotta, you gotta know how to do this for your own system and I'm not gonna go through that. Um, next, we're going to configure the NVIDIA runtime to be the default. So let's do that. We are going to check what's currently in there. And currently there is no special configuration by Docker Daemon. Now we're going to run this command, which would be available if you had the NVIDIA container toolkit installed. And that should configure the Docker daemon to now use the NVIDIA runtime by default. And there we see it, it's using the NVIDIA container runtime by default now, uh, before that configuration was different. And now since we changed the Docker config, we need to make sure we start it. And then, like I just pointed out, um, what was mentioned in that PR comment is that we need to change the visible uh, we need to tell NVIDIA Container Runtime to accept NVIDIA visible devices through the volume mounts. So we're gonna run the set command, which basically does that for uh, for us, and that should have updated my config file. Let's just make let's just make sure it really updated it. Um, accept. Yes, it's set to true. So we, we, we changed, it was uncommon before and we changed it to, to make sure it's, uh, it was common out before and we made sure to change it to true. Now we should be able to create the kind cluster. And let's do that. Oh, all right, kind, what is it? I need to delete my old cluster, kind delete. Cluster. Yeah, kind of leave cluster with some straightest. Just said it. Wait, why? <laughs> why? Why? Why am I struggling so much with this? Kind. Oh, 
Okay, I have to do dash dash name. Um, let's give it a moment and now let's rerun the same command. Are we gonna create this cluster? And the key part here while it's running is this part where we create this file um, inside the kind node, which tells it, which tells the container that runs the Kubernetes control plane to make all GPUs available effectively. Um, in my case, I had an, I actually had a, I'm not sure, like I, I posted this and it might be a system specific of my system um, because Kevin seemed to think that shouldn't be an issue, it shouldn't be needed, but I had to do this and it seems others are having the same issue um, where um, let me go up. Where the it, it will throw an error saying that the there's a missing file. It will this was the error I got as well. L, LD config has been LD config room missing. Um, the workaround that's provided here worked for me, so I I, I simply create that sim link. Um, I create I create a sim link here, so we fix that workaround. Um, let's run the workaround. The kind cluster is now up. I should be able to get nodes and you see the, the kind cluster is ready. The next part is we need to install the NVIDIA GPU up operator, which makes GPU devices available to your Kubernetes pods. So let's run that. That's going to take a little bit. We can check that it's actually doing something right now. We can go uh, get pods dash n GPU operator, and we see it's it's running. It's creating containers. We can check the the logs of it as well. Let's change to that namespace. Okay, okay, logs. Yeah, it seems like it's working doing its job and it's initializing the one one that should be finished eventually and running is the nvidia device plugin daemon set which is the one that makes the nvidia gpu device available on the node itself so now when we go let's take a look at the described node and see if the gpu device has been reported by kubernetes as a device that's allocated or uh, allocatable yeah there you go so we see that the device has been allocated um, great now we can actually start running a pod that requests a gpu we should be able to run this without any issues right now let me switch back to the default namespace and we should be able to just run this get pods and um, it's pulling down the image for you right now Let's, let's take a look. And it already started the container. Yeah, we see it was able to to run that CUDA code on the GPU. Um, so that's great. It seems like everything is working. And this was it. This, this told you how you can make your local device, your local GPU available to a Kubernetes cluster that's using Kind. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.